Oh, what an adventure! <laughs> Get lost with Google Maps. Good morning, everybody. How are we today? Here it is, Friday. Uh, the other battery turned up yesterday. Um, the missus and I had to go for a long drive uh, halfway to Perth today to see a farmer. And, well, I thought... I'll put the batteries in the back so I've had the batteries in the back charging off the DC to DC charger in the car and now I've got them charging off a solar panel on the ground because like all batteries when you get them you should charge the crap out of them because they usually get here with just a surface charge in them okay so that's basically what they sit in I drop them down through the top and they go in there and then I've got this high density foam that goes in there to stop any vibration and it, well it just helps the batteries that goes in I've got a, a layer for the bottom and um, some on each side I made up the, 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 the cords now I kept all my leads the same length. Um, there they are there. Because uh, they're going to fuses that haven't got anything on them. So there's not going to be any loads or anything on these batteries or the wires when I put them in. And I'm going to be really, really careful uh, because this whole trailer frame is, is grounded uh, to the neutral on, to the negative on the on the on the 12 volt side it does that for the lights and you know the um, water pumps and all that sort of stuff that's so uh, the whole thing and being metal so yeah i have to be careful i don't short anything out um i'll be extra careful doing that i might even wrap a bit of plastic around you know put a, a heavy duty plastic bag over one end while I'm working on the other Okay, end. we got it out in the afternoon sun. What's the time, love? Two o'clock. So I've got all the batteries and everything in. Um, let's go around the other side real quick. And you can see I've just put two wires down to the battery fuses because uh, I haven't got the three-way switch. But you can see how nice and neat that all is down there. The grunt, rubber, uh, the grunt strap and the rubber matting, there's no exposed bits, that's pretty good. Um, the inverter's got to go in here yet, at the back in there, and oh yeah, look at my arm. I cut myself a beauty on a sharp corner, shit happens. Ah, uh, that wouldn't be a job without me hurting myself, would it? Isn't that right, love? Yeah, she says. Okay, what have we got happening here? Okay, so, whoops. Oh yeah, we can go sideways. It probably makes it better. Okay, so, the batteries are at 13.73. We got 19 amps going in. That's about a 320 watt panel. And remember, earlier on in the video, these batteries went for a drive. Um, uh, and they sat on a solar panel while I was prepping all this. Um, so you can see the watts, hang on a minute, let's go backwards, go backwards please, backwards, there we go, uh, 100 by 30, that's the one we want, okay, now, so the, uh, Okay, the voltage of the panel's at 31, there you go, it's a split cell panel by the way, a 320 watt or something split cell panel. Um, if you don't know what a split cell panel is, look it up. There's the voltage uh, and amps. 
okay that's what's coming out of the out of the batteries uh, now it's not going through the three-way switch and I've got I've only got uh, uh, six mil wiring going from the fuse back so there's going to be a little bit of a drop in that which I expect but it won't be getting too hot this is just to put charge in the battery and test everything so by the time it gets to the uh, BMV 702 there it is and the temperature of course in uh, of the batteries is the temperature is, it is outside right now which is 30 degrees C all right um, so we tested all the, all the wiring everything's working we found one leak in the water pump uh, which we've hopefully fixed um, it was in one of the fittings uh, can you open the kitchen we'll check that later love I've got the water pump turned on at the panel here well there's the uh, BMV then the panel says we're getting 13.7 uh, the BMV says we're getting 13.723 volts so both these these are both pretty accurate I don't know what the uh, tents are but um, they're both pretty accurate so I just turned that okay off. this is the last bit of the video I've been sitting here hopping up going in checking the temperatures um, I've got no hot spots or anything else in there uh, the batteries right now well they're plugged in um, and it's also plugged into the car so uh, the current's 1.8 amp um, but the actual current coming out of the you can see that there but the actual current coming out of the solar panel is um, nothing in the batteries um, are, are full are full that 1.8 amp is um, going probably into the car because that counts as well every amp that goes through that solar panel either into the car or into the trailer is counted all right let's uh scroll here now our factory reset that this time and then we got rid of all the stats here the history um cleaned all that out so you can see the minimum battery voltage has been uh 13.63 that's when we hook after we zeroed the maximum has been 14.59 uh, they can go up to 14.8 so that's fine um, there's been no discharge or anything like that now so I don't have to worry about it so those batteries should be chocolate box full um, let's just check the let's go hang on let's go back sorry for the camera movement but I'm holding the um, uh, thing with one hand let's go into the charge controller okay as you can see the charge controller is doing 2.8 2.9 13.8 in float um, there's the stats of that since we put it that's on that's all I'm doing and of course I can't ring my mate and tell him to come down and wire it because I haven't got the inverter or the double pole power point I ordered so yeah that's all I can do these batteries should be fully charged we're going to leave it in the sun again tomorrow and um, really really make sure they're fully charged and then i'll disconnect the two jumper wires i've got in there um in lieu of the three-way switch and uh then it can be put away until all my other gear arrives okay that's it keep safe this video is a tad long sorry about that i hope you've enjoyed it have one last look at the batteries because um once I put the 
fridge and freezer back in here you won't see them again oh you can see I've got that foam in there now see that that's all nice it just helps with the deal with the uh, vibrations and that you get with the trailers on the dirt roads all right gorgeous day 32 degrees currently keep safe everybody bye for now